Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. If you wanna know the tea and what's going on with me, then continue to watch. Hey guys, so I wanted crawfish so freaking bad, like so bad. And if you ask anybody from Louisiana, they will tell you that it's not crawfish season right now. So I was like, I know it's not crawfish season, but I still want crawfish. And babe was like, well, it's hard to come by when it's not crawfish season and the cost of it goes up extremely high because it's not crawfish season. So I'm just like, but I want crawfish. So I was like, how do you make that dipping sauce? Y'all, I was like, I'm bound to get some crawfish. So I'm like, and you know, there's this sauce that they have that they dip the crawfish in. And babe showed me how to make it before he left, but I forgot the ingredients. So he told me what the ingredients were to make it. And I was like, okay. So I was like, I'm going to the store. I'm going to the store. And even if they're not <coughs> live crawfish and they're frozen crawfish, I am going to eat some fucking crawfish. So I have my eggs boiling. Um, they don't put, it's funny here because like when we get seafood boils back home and every other seafood boil that I've seen, there's eggs in their uh their seafood boil but when i told babe about eggs being in the seafood boil he was like what like who puts eggs and i was like who doesn't but anyways i have my eggs boiling i got some little baby um dutch yellow potatoes um i got some Cajun smoked sausage that I'm going to cut up. I bought this bag of Louisiana crawfish. It is um, three pounds of crawfish. And I also got this three pound bag of shrimp, snow crab, and mussels from Walmart. So, um, I am going to go back to Walmart <laughs> and go get some corn on a cob because who eats a seafood boil without corn on a cob? That is like, if you don't eat corn in your seafood boil, it's not a fucking seafood boil. So I told babe, I was like, um, I forgot the corn and I really want corn. And he's like, well, babe, just go back and get it. And I'm like, but I don't feel like driving. But also I'm trying this thing that I've seen on TikTok where you take pickles and you take um, ranch seasoning and you put it in the pickle jar, you shake it up and you let it sit for 24 hours and then you try it. So I just put the ranch packet in. Um, I'm letting like moving some of the um, seasoning down because it was like not in there all the way. So I'm about to shake it up and put it in the refrigerator until tomorrow. And then I will show you guys what it tastes like. Um, I got my good old um, 
caramel what is it my caramel crunch frappuccino um but i get uh substitute the crunch for cookie crumble extra caramel light whipped cream and almond milk when it comes to my coffee i don't care about calories or anything like that i'm going to drink my coffee regardless everything else i'd be like okay that's too many calories something like that but not my coffee but yeah you guys just wanted to show you what i was going to be eating tonight i'm super hungry because it's what i think it's like what time is it i don't know i haven't ate all freaking day you guys it is almost 2 30 and i haven't ate anything oh but i did want to show you guys this because remember when i told you guys that um when i moved in my apartment i was supposed to have a washer and dryer um hookup and i didn't and i showed you guys i think i showed you guys um a picture of my um portable washer that i had bought if i didn't i put a picture in right now and then well not right now <laughs> after this <clears throat> after this little clip um you'll see a picture of my washer and then you'll see a picture of my portable dryer but i just bought this portable dryer well i can show you the portable dryer right now um and i can also show you the washer too but the way that it, the washer is sitting it's hard to actually get a good visual of it so i'll just post a picture of the washer the dryer i'm going to show you now but this washer is a washer that i uh dryer is a dryer that i wanted to buy when i first got here when i first found out that i was not going to have um a washer and dryer hookup and it was on um home depot because i bought my portable washer on home depot too but um it was on there for like 350 some almost 400 dollars, i believe and i bought it but then my washer came and the dryer was like on back order and i was waiting and waiting i had got the washer maybe like three weeks after i purchased it but um when i purchased the dryer i purchased purchased the dryer a couple days after i purchased the washer and by month two i still did not have my dryer but i had the washer so i kept calling home depot and checking uh the shipping and it just kept getting pushed up week after week after week so contacted them they contacted the uh seller or whatever um and the distributor and they said that um it would be a while that it would take a while for me to get my dryer because of covid and they didn't know when they were going to start set, um shipping out the their product so i just went and got my money back and a few days ago, I was on Facebook Market and I happened to run across a portable dryer and it actually was the same portable dryer that I was going to purchase off of Home Depot's website and the lady, instead of buying it for almost $400, the lady was selling hers for $50. You guys, $50. So I went and bought the dryer. I'm going to show you guys um, if you can see it. It is like, it probably goes up to like my hip, like just a little bit below my hip is how tall it sits. And I'm 5'8". So it goes up just a little bit uh, below my hip. And this, I'm just gonna show you the box. Um, because you know how some dryers, you have to get, um, they have like the, here I'll show you. They have 
this that goes outside it like you connect it to the your whatever and then it like goes it's like the vent that goes outside well these are for portable dryers that are actually in your home and you just connect it to the dryer and it just sits right here um it also i try to use these clip things like the thumb tack things to put this on here because you can sit this on the wall and it could just hang from the wall but they're not strong enough but y'all when i tell you my portable washer and portable dryer dries washes and dries as if i had a regular size washer and dryer i'm like that's a still almost 400 dollars, and i bought it for $50. Now, one thing I'm going to say about the dryer is that the dryer is louder um, than a regular dryer. It has this like sound. I don't know why I had it so close to my face like that, but it has this like sound. Maybe I could sh show you guys, let you guys hear the sound. It's so cute though. It's so tiny, but it's so cute. But hold up. Let me see if you guys could hear the sound. It has, it kind of sounds like, I don't know. I can't describe the sound. But y'all, when you don't have a dryer and you have to hang up your stuff, and I don't like going to laundry mats because I don't like putting my clothes in where other people put their clothes in because I don't know what they got going on. So y'all, that dryer works like a regular dryer. I've, um, I, since I've gotten it, I've dried um, two loads in the dryer. And when I tell you guys, oh, excuse me, that dryer works bomb. But, oh yeah, um, I might be moving out of my apartment um, in a couple of weeks because I've been having problems with my apartment since I moved in. And don't mind my dishes, I gotta do dishes. I think I, you guys see my dishes, but um, ever since I moved in, my bathroom in the hallway, not my bedroom bathroom, but the bathroom off of the hallway, main hallway, right there the ceiling has been leaking because the ac unit thing is above the bathroom and it's like been leaking constantly and we pay a significant amount of money for this apartment so yeah i'm like i need to move because I'm not going to pay this amount of money for this apartment and move me to a smaller apartment for the remainder of my lease. And once my lease is up, we out because um, Houston, Texas, here we motherfucking come. I can't wait. But um, yeah, so I'm about to, I want to get another pot. I mean, I want to get another pot and I want to get... Um, some corn and some mushrooms to put in here. But I don't know. But um, when I get a little bit closer to being done, I'll show you guys what it's looking like. But I'll see you guys in a minute. I should be asleep. Well, going to sleep. Because I said I was going to go to sleep at 1030. But, y'all, I remembered the ranch pickles I did the other day. So I want to try them. So I was like, before I go to sleep, let me try these pickles. So they've been in the refrigerator for over 24 hours. And let's try them. I hope they're good because if they're not good, I wasted a whole jar of pickles. But 
but normally anything with ranch on it is like delicious. My mouth is like watering, so they better be good. It still tastes like a regular pickle. What a slight ranch taste. Mm. I don't want to eat the whole thing. It's not all that. Yeah. I really thought it was going to be super good. I was just like, ooh, ranch pickles. But. It's not all it's cracked up to be. I'm about to take my dog out to go use the bathroom one more time. Take this trash out in the morning. Oh, let me tell y'all while I'm outside taking her to the bathroom. I can make me. of coffee to go to sleep to um but um so the seafood boil that I made yesterday it was a kind of sort of a fail and I say it was a fail because um I think I put too many packs of the, or too much seasoning for the, this stuff. I think I put too much of that in because when I tell y'all, and that every time I open the pack, it makes me sneeze. But what, Milo? What? Every time I oh, oh, I already said that. Oh, it makes me freaking sneeze like I gotta sneeze right now. But, um, the sodium like it was so salty, like it was so good. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Ooh, excuse me, it was so good. But the sodium, y'all, I gotta pee real quick, so I will start this. <laughs> in a second so <laughs> okay i'm back so it was really good but the sodium the salt in it was so salty from because i put a pack and a half because the pot was really it's really big and there was so much stuff in there that i was like okay i don't think a pack is going to do but yeah i should have put like either one pack or just a little bit more than half of one pack in there. So you learn from your mistakes and um, yeah, so I know what to do next time, but I'm about to make um, me a cup of coffee and I'm using this. Um, it's pretty good. I have so many different flavors. I have caramel cream, um, caramel pecan. I have the donut shop, which is the great value kind. Um, this kind. I have the Starbucks cold coffee. Um, but I don't want any cold coffee. I want something hot. So I'm going to make that 
Oh, if you guys have never tried this creamer, it is really good. This is my first time ever trying it, but it is the Silk Almond Creamer. It's caramel. Bomb, y'all. It is so good. And then I use, of course, this is my favorite, my all-time favorite. But yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna take her out. Start me my cup of coffee. Come on, girl. And um, I will see you guys either in the next clip or in the next vlog. If it is the next vlog, make sure you comment, subscribe. Make sure you click the bell. It's all dark. Make sure you click the bell so you guys will be notified when I post another motherfucking video. And um, yeah. See you later. I love you guys. Bye.